On Idea Marketers, we run what is called idea ads, and they are ads that you can load in yourself, and you can run them for up to a week, two weeks, three weeks at a time, increments of weeks. They run for about seven days apiece, and they look like this. Okay, so this is a category. This is the book publishing category, and they have a title, which when clicked upon goes straight to the sales page or the website of your choice. So in this case it went straight to the sales page for the product. There's no intermediate um, article page or anything like that. They go directly to wherever you tell us to send the traffic to. In this case we've got a couple ads running on the book publishing articles. Every category in our system, and just to show you our category, we have lots of categories that you can choose from. There's over 300 categories in our system, so all of these categories have articles within them. And when you run an idea ad, they run on all articles in the category of your choice. So like I clicked on book publishing there to bring up the ads that were running in the book publishing section. Not only do they run on this category page, but they also run, as I said, on all articles within that category. So let's take a look at this article about how to sell books online. Notice it has those two ads there. We show the top five ads on all the articles within a category. And the way we decide what a top ad is is based on a bidding system. It works very similar to our article bidding system or press release bidding system. You set your own price, what you're willing to pay for a week ad, where you're not paying per click, you're just paying for a one week run or multiples of weeks run of your ad. So let's say that we wanted to add another ad. We're going to go up to Upload Advertisement. Okay, this account doesn't have any ads running in it, but let's say that they have also are going to put in an ad about business book publishing. So they have a book publishing product. So you choose the category, and there's there's tons of them here. You can just look through. See, we have business categories, entertainment, financial, good news, uh, home improvement, home, humanities, life, and so on. Marketing, all tech, ca major categories and subcategories. So you pick the subcategory of your choice there. You put in your headline. You put in the full HTTP address of the website you want it to go to, and it, it doesn't have to be the home page. You can link deep into your site. That's fine. And you have a description, an ad, that will, 250 characters max that you can run there. So let's submit this ad. Okay, now if she was running any ads already, they would show there and what she was willing, you know, already paying. She doesn't have any, so we're just going to click that. Alright, she has $11 in her account, which she has added, and you can always add money under account and add funds. Or if you don't have enough, it'll prompt you um, when you're adding an advertisement. So let's see, right now she is advertising in the book publishing category, and it's, it's picking that up based on the category she put in when she added her advertisement. Right now there's two bids running right here. Uh, one for six dollars and one for five dollars. Bid number one is six, bid number two is five dollars. Okay, so if she wanted to be in the number one spot, let's say she wants to outbid the number one bidder, all she needs to bid is one dollar more. So, no, not seven hundred dollars, seven dollars. And uh, she can choose how many weeks she wants to run it for. We'll just try one week for right now, but she could run it for multiple weeks if she wanted to. Uh, that's handy if you don't want to have to remember to keep coming in. If you're really wanting to stay on top of your ad and make sure you keep a number one spot or something, then you might want to go one week at a time uh, because you can come back in and see what other people are bidding because you know that bid amount changes all the time. Okay, so we're going to calculate. Notice it said she has $11. She's going to have four left after she places a $7 bid. So we're just going to hit place order. 
All right, so it's showing there where she's placed that bid. Now we're going to go back and look at that category again. If we look at the book publishing category again, we should see her ad. She should be in the number one spot, and she is. We promote your books for you. There it is. Okay. Now, that, when it clicks and links, it goes straight to her website. Okay, so this is a great way to give exposure for your site on targeted content. Okay, she's promoting something, a book promotion service. She wants to be on the book category, book publishing category. She can be right on there, and she's on every single one of these articles listed here. If we click on one of them, okay, there it is at the top of that right there. She's the top ad. So that's how it works. Now, if she ever wanted to edit the ad, she can go into advertisement, edit advertisement, and she can view how many times it's been shown. It's been shown a couple times, and I just clicked on it, so that added a click through, and it shows how much she's bidding. She can edit it, or she can remove it completely. Uh, when the bid runs out at the end of the week, it will still be listed here. It will not show a bid running on it, though. It'll it'll show zero, but it when the bid runs out, the ad's not running on the system anymore. So she would have to come back in and bid for placement of that ad one more time.